I've always been convinced that purpose is a universal ubiquitous thing in that every single person you see, every person you see has purpose inside of them. And the issue is that this purpose is not just for fun. It's not just something that we overlook. Actually, I do believe that the purpose that you do have is the reason as to why you were born in the first place. To deploy it, to own it, to discover it in reverse order. To discover it, to own it, to deploy it. And at the end of the day, when you do discover it, when you own it and when you deploy it, there is a possibility. In fact, it's supposed to be an obvious thing that you're going to gain a profit out of that purpose. And there's no, uh, you know, apologies about it. But the question that we need to ask ourselves is this. Why is it that many people do not turn their purpose into profit? There are several reasons that I've been giving and I want to give one more final reason today in this episode. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. In life, we find it controversial when people tell us that there is only one way to God. We find it a very controversial and maybe we can argue about it and so on and so forth. But then, we find it okay when we are told that there is one way to make it in life. Start a school. And that's what I've been fighting all along. The answer is simply this, that start a school is not the only way that you can make it in life. In other words, if you don't go to school, you don't pass your school examinations, you're not gifted academically and intellectually, it doesn't mean that that's the end of your life. It doesn't mean that your purpose has come to a halt. Your purpose is supposed actually to be exemplified through the school system. But the problem is that the school system hasn't been created in such a way that it can let you exemplify your purpose, let your purpose explode, let your capacity increase, and so on and so forth. It is created in such a way that you're supposed to fit in. Instead of discovering who you really are and exploring who you really are and doing research on who you really are and expanding your capacity and your potential, you're supposed to fit in. So the answer to profitability in life is not just one. There are very many answers. Actually, there are seven billion people on the face of the earth right now and every one of those people i do believe every one of them has a purpose for being in other words if you push comes to shove there is a way that every unique individual can use their unique ability unique talent and their difference and serve this world and add value into this world and solve problems and impact this world have fun as they're doing it and in the process they get paid. I know, I know that sounds so straightforward and sounds so, f- I mean, it's so easy, but it's, it's so simple, but it's not easy. It doesn't negate the fact that you're going to work hard. You're not going to need to work hard. You're going to need to connect with people. You're going to need to do everything that is being done with that touted one system. When you follow that particular one system and at times you've got to knock on doors, you've got to do cold calls and so on and so forth so it can be successful, it doesn't mean that that is not going to be required when you're doing your purpose. What I'm saying is that it is not good for you to be stuck being unproductive, being unemployed, and yet you have gifts, yet you have talent, yet you have a calling, yet you have passion inside of your heart. There is a possibility that this passion these gifts and these talents, there is a possibility that this calling of yours 
is supposed to be monetized. The ideas that you do have are supposed to be converted into profit because the laws of physics are obvious. For every action, there is an equal but opposite reaction. In other words, you do something, value comes back to you equal and opposite to the value that you've added, to the problems that you've solved, using what you can do naturally, easily. If you're a speaker, for every people that you speak to, you inspire, you motivate, you make them think. There is an equal but opposite reaction, which is the profit we're talking about. And the thing is that when you're doing this, you're having fun while doing it. So question is, why is it that people do not monetize their purpose? Why is it that they don't monetize their purpose? Why is it that people do not turn their purpose into profit? And I've said there are several reasons. The, the first one is that people are ignorant. They're ignorant of two things. Number one, they're ignorant that they have purpose. Okay? And then they're ignorant that that purpose, those ones, those ones who have already discovered it is, they're ignorant that that purpose can be converted into profit as they serve community. In fact, people normally give an excuse and make an apology. Those ones who are ignorant about their purpose, they make an apology of their purpose. They make an apology because the work that they did with their purpose, with the natural gift, with the natural talent, did not earn them any sweat. I mean, they do not feel like it's difficult and so on. So they, they feel like I shouldn't be paid for this. Shouldn't be compensated for this. Nothing can be further from the truth. And that's why you find a guy strumming a guitar very nicely on the streets, in the streets, and the, he's earning peanuts and he's okay with those peanuts. The, the coins are being dropped into his guitar bag and he's okay with it. You get. So the thing is that it cannot be monetized as long as there is ignorance. All right. The second reason as to why people do not get to monetize their purpose, to get to turn their purpose into profit, is because of status quo. Status quo says that there is one route, one way, and if you're not following that one way, you are a failure. If you don't graduate, you're a failure. If you don't have a diploma degree, a PhD, you are a failure. And the only way you're supposed to be productive in this life is when you have academic papers. That's why people go to great length to forge academic papers. People go to great length to lose their virginity because of academic papers. People go to great length to kill because of academic papers. Someone was telling me the other day that uh, when he was doing his examinations in primary school in the 1970s, people will steal his books. I mean, people used to steal each other's books so that, you know, if they know you're smart, you can't revise so that you can also fail. Because someone has told people that the, the only way you can succeed in life is through that path. But it's wrong. If you have purpose, if you have a calling, if you have ideas, you have a vision, if you have uh, gifts and talents, if you have a passion, that can be monetized as long as you are able to find a way that you can serve the community. And that, that, that's why number three yesterday we say that the reason as to why people do not have to monetize their purpose, people do not turn their purpose into profit, is because there is no proven path the only path that is available is the path that has been created by somebody else. The conventional path. The tried, the true, the, the proven and the tested. That is the only path that people are following. And this path of purpose to profit, people are thinking, what in the world are you talking about? Nobody has ever done this. There's no idea about it. I mean, there's no evidence that is being worked on and it's working on people. There is no critical mass for it. Let me tell you something, friends. The next biggest revolution you're going to see in the human space. Let me tell you, technology will go as and improve the way it was. Nanotechnology will be a reality. Flying cars will be a reality. All these things that you're seeing in sci-fi movies, they're going to be a reality at one point in time. There's no doubt about that. But let me tell you, the thing that is going to revolutionize human beings and the things that human beings are gravitating towards, it is their purpose. The next biggest revolution that is coming, it is the purpose revolution. And that's why technology is just going to be an enabler for those guys who have already discovered what their purpose in life is. Technology is going to help to solve these basic problems here and there. But then the purpose is what people will revert back to. That's why there's got to be a proven path for this purpose to turn into profit. And we're creating one. I've, I've actually created one. This is a course called Purpose to Profit. You can find it on uh, bit.ly slash purpose to profit dash coaching that is bit.ly slash purpose to profit dash coaching and let me mention that 
It's a numeral two. Purpose numeral two. Profit dash coaching. So once again, bit.ly slash purpose numeral two. Profit dash coaching. You can find it there, and I can leave the URL on the write up for this uh, episode. So that's the third thing that you. The, 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 that's the third thing that is making people not to monitor their purpose. They don't see a proven path, and that's why they sit back with their gifts and their talents. They sit back with their calling, sit back with their passion, sit back with their ideas. They do nothing about them because nobody has given them a, jo- a job. Nobody has given them an opening. No, nobody has employed them, and they end up just doing menial work. They end up just doing things that they don't like at all because they just want to survive. They just want to put food on the table. If I can put food on the table, I'll be fine. I'll be okay. And I'm not bashing you in any way. I've been there. That's why I'm passionate about this thing. All along I was suffering. I had a purpose. I had a calling. I had a gift. I had talents that were benched all along because I did not have a degree. Listen, nothing can be further from the truth. Purpose can be converted into profit. But then the last thing as to why people do not convert this purpose into profit is because there is no community. There is no accountability. There is no coaching and mentoring as far as that is concerned. Remember, status quo is only getting people in one dimension, one direction. Therefore, when others who have purpose and who have profit, they just make do. They just grope around in the dark trying to make this thing work, apologizing their way as they're trying to do it. There is no accountability. There is no community that can cheer them up. Actually, people tear people a- a- apart, starting with their own immediate families. You, want to, you, want to, you said you want to crack jokes and people laugh? You have a mind of a doctor. You should be a doctor. You want to speak and people pay you? What are you uh, what are you talking about? See, people do not the community is not there to support. It is the opposite. The support that is going to be given to you is commensurate to you succumbing or saluting the tra- the status quo and saying I'm going to go to school. And they look look look. Don't take this wrongly. I am not in any way saying school is wrong i'll say this a gazillion times school is only but one method literacy is okay i mean everyone should be literate literacy is okay and that's enough once someone has been literate they can be able to read they can be able to write they can be able to count and can be able to do basic mathematics i do believe that they can now revert back this is very controversial they can now revert back to their gifts and talents and their purpose and they can Turn that purpose into a profit. Other things you can be able to learn on the on, on the way. How many books do we read by the way, on a daily basis without being examined? I can read about sales, I can read about networking, I can read about just about anything and I can gain knowledge because the basic of literacy and mathematics and, and all those things have been catered for. Now it is up to me to feed as much content, as much information into my purpose. That is what you call active information that is pointed towards productivity not just gathering a lot of information that is useless lamax theory pythagoras theorem all these things you're not gonna use them i'm being controversial here what i was driving at was saying that the support systems are not there for people to turn purpose into profit the accountability systems are not there for people to turn purpose into profit you're left on their own in fact there's some people who have been rejected by their families because they want to turn their purpose into profit right and there is no coaching there's no mentoring around this but thankfully we've created this like i've said we've created a particular program for this this particular program is supposed to go for 250 dollars but we're going to charge people 30 dollars for this so that you can accept as many people as possible and then we'll cap it later on to back to $250. It is available for very, for very many of us. We can create these communities. We can create these accountabilities. We can create this mentoring and this coaching. That is what I am creating and making available. That as many people as possible, I don't care. By the way, I have a track record of employing people when I had opportunity to interview and employ people. I have a track record of employing people who did not have papers. Why? Because I identify with them. And guess what? Those people have proven me right over and over again and over and over again. 
My point is simply this. People do not convert their purpose into profit because there is no support, there is no accountability, there is no community, there is no mentoring. But we are providing all that and we want you to start turning your purpose into a profitable venture as you enjoy it, as you do it, as you go on in life. Well, until another time when we discuss something else, maybe we're going to continue discussing purpose to profit. I wish you all the success that you're willing to work for. Bye-bye. A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.